Well, it's that time of the year again, the start of summer. Ray Gilda of the Nisawa Guides League and Mandy Urich, the bassing biologist, join us once again for fishing tips. Hello, everybody. I'm Ray Gildow with the Nisswa Guides League, along with my co-host, Mandy Urich, who is a biologist. And we're happy to be joining you again for the 2017 fishing season in Lakeland News, where every other, th or every Thursday evening, rather, we will be doing fishing tips. And before we get into tips about how to catch fish, we want to spend just one of our segments on having the proper equipment in your boat so you can have a safe experience during your fishing season. And it goes without saying that the most important thing probably in your boat is to have a life jacket. And remember that anytime you're moving in a boat and you have children 10 or under, they need to be wearing the life jacket as the boat's moving. The law allows you to take them off when you're not moving, and the law doesn't require everybody to be wearing the life jackets all the time, although if you have people who can't swim, it certainly is a good idea. Another key feature to have in your boat at all times is a simple first aid kit, just to, in case something does happen out there. If your boat's over 16 feet, they recommend, that, or the law is that you have to have a throwaway uh, device, so if someone falls in the lake, you can throw them this. Uh, we would recommend you have this in every boat, it, whether it's a 12 footer or a 13 footer, have something that you can throw in case somebody gets into a real quick emergency. Also, if your boat is over 16 feet, you have to have a paddle. Now, I know this doesn't look like much of a paddle. It does fold up, and it does meet the requirement of the law so that if you're stranded, your motor doesn't run, at least if you have to, you can paddle somewhat. There's also a new law going into effect that went into effect May 1st on carbon monoxide. As Ray was saying, May 1st of this year, there's new carbon monoxide laws that went into effect for boats. So if you have an enclosed boat, you need to have all three of these stickers displayed on your boat. If you have an open motor boat, they are strongly encouraged, but they are not required. But here's a brochure. Go to your local area fisheries or wildlife office and pick up the stickers. Fishing laws, make sure you're doing everything by the, by the legal definition of what you can do on that lake. An emergency whistle just in case you get out there and you can't holler loud enough. And a fire extinguisher or more than one. If you have a fire in a boat, you need to have a fire extinguisher. So those are some of the basics that you need to have before you get this 2017 fishing season started. I'm Ray Gilbert with the Nisswa Guides League. And I'm Mandy Eric, the Bass and Biologist. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.